And to other news now, a non-governmental organization, Electoral College, says Nigeria is better off as a functional country devoid of ethnicity and tribalism. This was the submission of some activists at the symposium organized to celebrate Nigeria's 61st independence anniversary in Lagos. And our correspondent, Ademola Lawrence, reports. Was the dramatic takeover by the new nation after gaining independence 61 years ago? Nigeria has faced different challenges ranging from insecurity, economic woes, poor infrastructure, falling standard of education, and lack of purpose of leadership. For this non governmental organization, these issues can be solved if every Nigerian can participate in politics and show more concern towards engaging in conversations that can move the country forward. I'm going to also say that when it comes to how we understand Nigeria. Love is lost in the equation. We are likely to follow the fault lines of politics, the fault lines of tribalism. And many people are more, they owe more allegiance to their tribe than to Nigeria. Most people owe more allegiance to the, the, what they are getting, the, the, the contract that they owe to Nigeria. How possible can it be that you are paying for the same road over and over again and it's not being solved? At this symposium in Lagos, where young minds from different walks of life gathered to deliberate on what is best for the country, they stressed the need for participatory politics with regards to some parts of the country calling for secession. There have been a lot of conversations in Nigeria, especially around, around the you know, separatist or one region is going one way. And if you kind of keep quiet about it, it means that you allude to such conversations. Nigeria is better as a functional country and we all know that till we decide to get out of the canoe of diversity of um, ethnicity we will never be able to walk on the waters of diversity what is the in for them participation of youth in politics is inevitable at this point in the history of the country the youth have to start getting more involved because a lot of uh, youth stand on the side and they're indifferent about what is going on and they keep complaining about what is going on but if we don't actually get involved push ourselves uh, to, to be part of the process we're not going to see the change we want to see so i believe that um, ignorance is the biggest issue when it comes to politics and participation in nigeria i believe that the youth should be more aware of what's happening around them and that's by educating themselves. For many Nigerians at this forum, the time has come for citizens to contribute their own quota to the development of the country for it to rank among the best in the League of Nations. I'm excited. Ademola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos.